What's up, my glassy friends? How y'all doing today? I'm doing great. This is Glass the Gamer. I'm coming back to an episode of Freediverse. Woohoo! In today's episode, we're gonna pick up right where we left off. We're doing some, uh, we're doing some building, doing some, some construction together. And uh, let me just show you an update we've done to the library. Okay, so I've, so in the last video we were working on the library. So, take a look here. What do you guys think? I went ahead and put in some uh, stained glass between the coffered ceilings and put in these little lamps off of a uh, change from the uh, medieval pack. I thought it looked great. Uh, in addition, I added the medieval chairs uh, with the stone uh, desks. I thought they worked pretty good that way. Take a look at that. Only because the this medieval desks, they just don't really place right. So that's why I kind of did what with the stone ones. So I thought they looked great. Uh, in addition, I built a fireplace. Uh, take a look. Let me know what you think. So the way I built this was, I literally just used a couple of these <laughs> little fire fire pits down here. Oop, do, do generate heat now. Uh, they didn't do that before. Uh, and what I'm going to do is, all I did was I just surround it with some blocks, put in a, a little uh, upside down uh, ramps, and... Uh, couple pictures up top just to make it a, a little a little bit of a decoration uh, I still want to put some shelves around just to kind of showcase my blocks and uh, that's something I will definitely do uh, but for today what I was thinking we should do is work on the basement area let's make that our treasure hold our storage area now uh, this area is looking I think pretty good I mean it's nice and bright the stained glass comes in bright makes it look like it's daylight here which I think is awesome Get some lights, uh, leading, reading lights too. Leading rates, le reading lights. <laughs> yeah. So let's uh, let's go grab some. Uh, well, first we'll uh, open the door here. There we go. We've got our secret door open now. Woo now, for what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and. Let's let's measure this out and see how the size is. And what I'll do, I put a bunch of torches in to keep stuff from spawning. By the way, too. Uh, what I'm thinking of doing is possibly digging down uh, one more layer, and then using the uh, the medieval blocks because I haven't used those yet, and I think they look really great. So let me grab some of those blocks. I put them in here. And some of the other one because you just get so many blocks. Uh, I thought these were really cool looking. So let's drop that over here. Drop that over here. What's that squeaky sound? Must be something outside. No biggie. All right, so we've got our block here. We'll put our fossils away. We don't really need those. Uh, spike wall. I'm not sure we'll do those, but we'll figure it out. And let's see. Definitely want to use treasure chests because those are pretty cool looking. I might actually just fill the whole room with treasure chests like this, uh, depending on how much materials it takes to make these things. And uh, let's see, we've got a throne. Hmm, haven't used that yet. But it's not really a throne room, it's more of a, uh, it's a treasure room. So let's drag some of these in here and uh, let's take a look here. Hmm. Just in case I need them for some side panels. Carpeted stairs and stairs. We'll, we'll see how both look. And brick insert and brick wall. So we've got two different kinds. I guess we can... Uh, we'll see what happens with those. That's different. That's a little different. Plus we have these medieval tables. And uh, we'll see if we can use those as well. Let me drop these in, and I think we're going to definitely need more brick wall than anything. So let me drop a bunch of them in. Because we're going to fill it out. Alright. So, let's head down into the basement area. And, uh, as you can see, I made a ton of tor uh, lamps. Not torches, lamps! Let's see, we've got space for five more. And the reason I want to go down a little bit lower is because the ceiling just sees... Because by the time I put a ceiling in, uh, just for example, by the time I put a ceiling panel in and then something on the floor, 
it, it's going to feel really crowded, really uh, tight in here. I don't want to give it that feel. I want to give it a feel of openness. So I'm going to dig down maybe even two blocks. I'm going to make it a proper treasure room. And we'll build it together. Come on, Diamond Glove. You can suck these blocks up quicker than that. There we go. So we're just going to vacuum this whole area up here quick. And, and then we'll be right back. All right, and we're back. So what I've noticed is I've, after clearing out the first layer, uh, uh, we actually have quite a bit of uh, coal and stuff down here. So let's, uh, let's take care of that. And probably some obsidian, too, so we'll drop those on. And we'll let them get started. Holding up progress here. There we go. Perfect. Now, I'm debating whether to go down one more level or just state it is. Let's take a look here and see how... Let's see how she looks. So this is the ornamental stone. We don't want that. We want the medieval castle block. And that's the brick. Hmm. Let's see how they look. Well, I'll put both side by side just to see. All right, so we've got the the brick and we've got the the block wall. Hmm. Any differences on the sides? Oh yeah. Um. Hmm. You know, I might actually just use this one for the floor and this one for the walls. Let's uh, let's see how that looks. Oh, wrong one. And we could also rotate it to be to be kind of like that. Hmm. Or that might actually work pretty good. I kind of like that for the floor better. And the pattern works really great. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to drop these in. And it should give me enough ceiling height too. Let me uh, just test that. Hmm. So if I'm coming down, will this be too tight? That is the question. Well, I can come. It, I can make it. That's not too. I mean, it's not bad. I'll probably put a slope block here, but huh, let's see. You know, I'm gonna go with this. This height. I. It is a treasure room, and I. It doesn't need to be ridiculously high. So let me go ahead and just start laying down these blocks. And we'll take it from there. We'll just uh, just follow right along with me. There we go. You know, I never count these to see if they're actually symmetrical. That's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four. What? Let me get my dive lose it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So it's symmetrical that way. Perfect. And I wanted a little bit longer than wide, so that's good. So, I mean, I think we're good. we got seven and seven along the stairs. And uh, let's uh, keep dropping our bricks down. Uh, what happened here? Let's put our rotate feature on so they're all the same. Uh, where did it get messed up? Uh, pigs, eh? Why did you do that? All right, well, let's see which pattern looks better. No, I want to rotate it. No, no, no. Well, how did I get that pattern? Did I use the wrong bricks? I did. I used the wrong, the wrong blocks. Oh no. I was wondering what's going on. Much better. It kind of gives it like a tile look. I like that. Alright, let's keep 
dropping these in. And we'll pick the other ones up after. The other ones I'm going to use for the walls. And uh, that should work pretty good. Let me take those out. Bam, bam. No, I didn't want to do that. Stairs. Well, maybe I'll replace the stairs with a carpeted one. So that might actually look pretty good because it is a treasure room. We have to make it look a little bit opulent. And let's uh, hop back up here. Drop these in. Come on, excavators. Wreck a little quicker. Now, I haven't tried using these castle blocks before, so this is going to be... Uh, there we go. That's what I was waiting for. And, of course, there's more down below. Obsidian. Uh, I'll take it. Why not? It's obsidian. <laughs> All right. Uh, just throw a filler block in here. Yeah, we'll move this out the way. We don't need that right now. Oh, we've got 60 in already. Oh, that's uh, that's an issue. Drop that in. And... Bam. Alright, I'm going to continue to just carpet this whole floor with these blocks. Maybe I will put carpet in after. And uh, we'll be right back. Alright, and we're back. So... I've got this whole area covered, except for the, where the extractors are still digging. They're almost done. And then I can fill them in. Let's see if this one's done yet. Oh, yeah, you're done. And we'll just fill you up with stone. Maybe. Ooh, I didn't get launched. All right, <laughs> here we go. Now, the great thing about these blocks is we can actually rotate them to a different pattern. So if I wanted to make like a kind of like a little paver set, I guess, so to say, and I can actually just go down through here. But what I might do is later come back with carpet and kind of like roll the red carpet down kind of deal and uh, have it go to each of the, you know, treasure areas. So let me try that. Are you done? You're done. Woo. -hoo. And there's more. Oh, there's always more. Not that that's a bad thing. All right, let me get out of the hole. Oh, I can't. I'm stuck in a hole. All right, there we go. So let's, uh, while those are extracting and being extractors, I'm going to go ahead and put the other walls up. And I think what I'll do is I'll come back afterwards and change them up a bit just to see what we can do with them. Let me take these torches out. I also have the torches from the castle set. They actually look pretty cool too. These are the, well, these are the torch uh, stands, I guess, lamps. They throw a lot of light. So uh, I'll put those down for now, but I'm gonna put them in a different place. I just wanted to get some light in here. All right, let's keep dropping these in. Take that out. I wanted to make this look radically different from upstairs. So that's why I'm kind of doing this using the castle blocks. Because uh, treasure rooms kind of look a little different so, in some aspects. That's why I wanted to do that. Well, let me drop that down. There we go. And we'll put the blocks in. Take these torches out. There we go. I can reach that one. Bam, got it. So I guess if I just do the top ones first, it's probably a little better. What is that little hole there? Let's plug that up because if you don't, critters will spawn in there. Let me uh, make a stepping stool here. There we go. Bam, bam, and there. Just to keep the riffraff out. There we go. That's better. All right, we're going to continue on with the blocks. So don't worry about it, that it looks too plain right now because it's not going to be plain when I'm done. This is just me kind of getting the rough uh, frame of it up. 
And once I get that done, I'm going to add different blocks, obviously, just for uh, you know, decor. Because I want to get this thing you know, looking pretty good. So let me move these torches. Now that I got the black walls in. Perfect. And I have to get these up here. Can I get it? There we go. Now the ceiling is going to be covered up with a different one. So, uh, hmm. I'm kind of debating what to use for that. Well, I'll think of that next. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to keep putting the walls up. Here we go. Torch out of the way. So, how many people out there have actually uh, picked up the uh, medieval set? Uh, I'm not sure if you guys have done any castle building or tried out the blocks yet, but so far I'm kind of I'm really liking them. I actually used the uh, the chains as you saw upstairs to hang from the other lamps. So, it, what's nice about them is you can actually use them for more than just one thing. Let me grab that. Hopefully I brought enough blocks. Let me have brought a brought a whole bunch of them. All right, let me get, whoop. maybe I should put that other one in first. There we go. I'm just gonna go around the room and put the the border up first, and then later what I'll do is I'll go through and I'll put like I said the uh, decorative blocks. This is just to get it filled in. To see what it's at, to, so we can get an idea of what we're going to be doing. All right. There we go. Nice. Oh, I heard an excavator pop. Let's see which one that is. Yep. And I like to kind of build the basics with you guys just so you can see how I build things. Not necessarily, you know, here it is finished, but, you know, I like to build together. Give it a sense of, uh, yeah, you can do that. So let me put that in. Perfect. I mean, now it does make it a little bit smaller, but it's still not bad. I mean, it's a good size. Uh, the only thing I was worried about was the ceiling, but I think we should be good there. What I'm thinking of doing is stacking some treasure chests and putting some nice tables in, you know, make it looking you know, a little bit more ornate after. And you, of course, using the, uh, uh, the little blocks here from the set. Uh, did I bring all of them? No, I didn't bring them all. I got most of them. I just want to get the bait, the most, uh, just get the wall and ceilings in, and the, the wall and the floor in. There we go. Ah, I ran out already. Whoops. Torch, eh? And I think I might actually put a couple chandeliers from the ceiling, too. I liked how they looked. It gives it a nice uh, ambient light. They're about as uh, strong as a torch, but these throw out a lot of light. I mean, look how much light these push. As much as the lamps, I think. Whoop. There we go. And of course, I'm going to have to do some wiring down here. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet, but I'm, I want to do some more wiring to get to practice. And uh, thanks for the tip, by the way. Uh, I had somebody suggest that you can actually hold control click down when you're doing the multiple uh, layers. So that'll be a big deal when I have to uh, hook up more than one to the same switch. Ah. Come on, get in there. Perfect. There we go. Nice. It's kind of, it's definitely coming along. Uh, and I might actually just work on a ceiling last. I don't know why I do that. 
Uh, some people must work in the ceiling first, but I, I, I tend to work in the ceiling last, as you saw from the one above. But we'll think of something on there yet. Um, maybe I'll use st stalactites. I don't know. We'll, let's see. I just want to do something different. And uh, or we'll use the blocks, of course, from the the set. Uh, let me grab that. And oh, another thing. Another thing of mine. Come on, let me in. All right, looks like we need some more already. Wow, we are going through these quickly. They would make some really cool castle blocks so for uh, the outer walls and such. I think that it would be amazing to try one time. Uh, but for now, I'm going to use them here. Alright, get in there. Suck that one out. Now we do have these blocks that have kind of like almost like a red carpet. Which are kind of neat and they look like they might match up. And I like these roofs. They're kind of like a little diamond scale, like a like almost like a dragon. Those are pretty cool. Let's see how these look. Oh. Perfect. They do match the walls. That's what I was kind of wondering. So that's awesome. So they, they match the walls exactly the way I want them. All right, let's grab that torch. Good thing we have flashlights on this game. If you get the pro DLC. <laughs> Torches and gliders make the game much light, much easier. Because these dungeons are just so dark. I mean, you cannot see a thing without these lights. Alright, so it looks like we've got ourselves cleared out here. Is this uh, extractor done? Yes, you are done. Alright, let me grab you and we'll fill the hole in. Unless there's another node down there. I've got this thing. I've got to get the nodes. Good. Jump, jump, jump. Perfect. All right, let's drop some more blocks in there. Not those. There we go. All right, so this gives a general idea of how uh, this room is going to be. I mean, it's going to be a good size. And uh, it's nice and symmetrical. But I'm thinking I want to try these steps here. Uh, either these or these. Let's take a look at both of them and see. So let me drop that here and we'll drop that one here. So here is step number one. Nice and carpeted. And step number two. Hmm. Let's put them side by side. I, I'm liking that they match the, the brick walls too. So what I might do is this. Use both. I don't know. It's too bad they weren't really much wider. Hmm. Let's try that. Because if they are wider, it may look pretty. It look a little better, I think. But let's try this out. Uh, there. There. Little carpet runners. Let me get all these steps out of the way. And so. Whoops. They do blend pretty good, though. I don't know. Maybe I'll just use them on the edges. The center just seems kind of derpy the way it is. Uh, let's try that. Nope, not that block. Uh, there, not there. There. And then put a regular block next to it. And... Decorative. That might look a little better having it. I think it will. All right, let's try that. Good thing I caught that early. All right, let's do this. We'll put that there. Not, 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 not like that. Like that. There we go. And we'll just walk our way up. 
make it a little bit easier to put the rest of the steps in. There we go. That's the great thing about the game. Nothing's permanent. You can change it out whenever you feel like it. To make it look a little better, to jazz it up. There we go. All right. Now we'll add the steps between. If I can do it, right? There we go. Nice. All right. So yeah, I think that actually looks a little better. Um, and then I could put maybe a handrail on the side here. I know, we'll, we'll see. Handrails are kind of handy. I mean, as you can see, they look nice. I love the way they look, they come out. So maybe I'll put a handrail afterwards uh, to the sides. I don't know. We'll see. So let's, uh, you know, I might actually wrap up this episode right here for now. We've got a little, quite a bit of building done, and there's quite a bit more to go. So this is Classic Gamer. I'd like to take this time to thank all my viewers and all my subscribers. Thank you all so very much. Without all of you, this wouldn't be a thing. If you enjoyed this episode, please smash that like button and comment below. And as always, if you have not done so, please subscribe and stay classy. Bye-bye.